Release the Kraken! Good afternoon, boys and girls. Uh, I'm just going up to get a backpack for when we go on our little trip down uh, to Tassie. It's all booked and holy shit it wasn't cheap. I'm not kidding either, like if I told you you'd flip. Uh, but it's all booked now. Uh, they sent me the tickets in an email and I've printed them out and so we're gonna take them. We go up there at, uh, da, 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 da. we're gonna be there at five in the evening and yeah, it doesn't go until uh, 7, yeah, 7.30. So I'll be bored out of me, bored out my ass. <laughs> Just bored shitless. Um, for two and a half hours while I wait around, so I might do a little tour of the ship, eh? I've, I've never been on it, so I'm, I'm actually kind of getting a little excited now. Almost to the point where I'm almost Almost a little bit of wheeze coming out, <laughs> but not quite. Uh, so yeah, really, really looking forward to it. So that's only what a week away now. I'm hanging. I'm glad. I'm, um, it was a blessing in disguise. Uh, this weekend just gone that we didn't go because the weather was absolutely crap. Like we had gale force winds and trees and shit were fly, falling down everywhere and. No, on my luck, I would have ended up under a tree. Um, so, I could have gone then. So, um, so yeah, I was kind of glad. So, I've got my fingers crossed that next week we're, we're good. That's basically it. I got a, I got two letters in the mail today. One was from, well actually they were both from Vic Roads, which is a vehicle registration place here. And I got hit by a bug. Yeah, and um, I'll go in now, just ride around for a bit so I can keep talking. No, it's a plaza, a local plaza. Uh, yeah, so I got two letters in the mail today, and one was registration for the motorbike, so I've got to pay that. <laughs> and the other one was a letter from Vic Road saying, hand your license in. You've gone over the speed limit far too many times, and I'm like, nah, not really. I didn't get a letter like that. But I did get a letter from him saying, saying, um, can you bring in the roadworthy certificate, uh, otherwise your registration will be suspended in 14 days. And when I went in there last time, I gave it all to them. So I went in there and said, what the hell's up with this? You know, it's, it's all stamped and everything, took it everything. That's an important thing, always keep your paperwork. Because <laughs> you never know when you get bullshit letters like that. So anyway, I went up there and I said, what's going on? And she's gone, oh, sorry, when we've done it, we haven't put it in. We hadn't put the uh, road weather certificate through. And then she goes, oh, congratulations, you now officially own your motorbike. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I was like, are you serious? And she said, yeah, well, it's not finalized until, we've got the transfer papers here, yeah, that's a fine. But to finalize everything, they needed the road weather certificate. So, but at least it's mine now. Like, I've, I've only owned her a week. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was funny. Very, very funny. And then, uh, what happened? Oh, and then the other letter, my registration. You know, in a past video, I've turned around and said, oh, registration here is $420 or something. <laughs> I opened my registration up, expecting that sum. It's five hundred and two dollars and seventy cents. <laughs> I was like, "What the hell?" So, 
I've got to pay that. <laughs> oh, shit. I've got bills coming out my ass. But I think we need this break, so I'm going to do this first. Anyway, I'm going to head back now because I'm going far out, man. Pretty far out, man. If you haven't heard of Flight of the Concords, I suggest you look them up on YouTube because they're quite funny. Uh, so yeah, like 500 and... What the hell's going on there? What's going on with the suspension? See, look, what's going on there? Um, so, so you're gonna pay that. It's not due until December. What a perfect time. To, um, to pay a reg away right near Christmas. I even said that to the guy when I bought the bike. But, uh, but yeah, so just going now to pick up a backpack and bits and pieces, which is pretty. And, and that's about it. Oh, I, I did get in the mail yesterday. I've got quite a few things in the mail. I got me batteries finally. That took, that took a little bit longer than I expected to get the batteries on that. Because the location they were sold was supposedly Australia, and then I get them, and on the return address it's got Honky Tonk, um, Hong Kong. So, but anyway, I finally got them, and I got my what was it? The oh, Twist of the Wrist Two. I finally got it. Hey, like it, I ordered that nearly eight weeks ago, and I just got it. And I watched it, and mate, that acting's, that's pretty bad acting. <laughs> that, that was actually really bad acting. And then I watched the bonus part, I don't know if you've seen it or not, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it, because it does have really, really good information there, particularly if you knew it riding, so, I think it's only like 20 bucks or something, so it's, it's worth getting, you know. Um, but yeah, I was watching uh, the bonus material, which was setting sag on a motorbike. Well, I, I know how to do that, so. Um, but anyway, I was watching it, and the presenter, Keith Killed. Hey, I'm Keith Killed. He was. <laughs> I almost wet myself, hey. Like, it, it was that funny. It was just. Um, he looks stressed out <laughs> when he's presenting it and stuff. Like you can see, he was reading off the board or whatever. And thank you, little old lady. Wow, she's hot. Um, yeah, you can see he was reading it off the board. And then it, it just looked like he wanted to throw a spanner or something. You know? <laughs> like he just—it was so funny just to watch him. He was getting all flustered and stuff. They should have done another take on that. Yeah, he was getting all anxious and that, and he was sweating. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> oh, I reckon I, I reckon I wet myself. Nilly. Um, but yeah, God, I never laughed so hard in a while, eh? That was really good. Anyway, guys, I'm back at the plaza, and I'm gonna go and get a backpack for when we go to Tasmania, which would be grand. Yep, I want a full pass. At least here I can't get any tickets or have to pay for parking, which is shit. I mean, you don't pay for parking around here anyway, but, but anyway. All right, guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm off, so ride safe. See you later.